how's it going, peoples? Um, so today I am going to walk you through something that I discovered on Lightroom. I am new to Lightroom, using it almost exclusively for 90% of my edits, and then sometimes I'll port over to Photoshop to finish up an image. But um, um, recently I discovered a video where they talked about the transform tools. So I took this image here. It was previously, as you can see, a, a little underexposed, a little um, blase in the color. Um, so I touched up, you know, my basic editing, my color exposure, my um, this and that and the other thing, clarity, I'll, I'll have you. I really, really like to start with an underexposed image um, rather than an um, overexposed image just because um, it allows me to get mood and I like to play uh, play with the image a little bit more. In this case I definitely went for a overexposed look. Uh, I really brought blew up those highlights and I'm getting her very glowy and hyper saturated with color here and if you zoom in you can see that the eyes just got this lovely glare in it um, but the problem I had with this image is because um, she was wearing uh, a tube top dress so we cut off at the shoulders um, that's usually what I do for my makeup um, this is my friend Chelsea she had her hair done with this awesome cool dual color scheme here so we did her up with some makeup and um, did a really impromptu photo shoot in my neighborhood and we were lucky to find this really cool white flower backdrop that we used but um, I sort of goofed and I had my wide lens uh, attached to my body so as you can see, it really distorted her jaw and her nose and her shoulders, and it wasn't very flattering. And so what I do right from the get-go is I just go down top to bottom. I do my basic edits. But as I work down the list, eventually I get to lens corrections. And lens corrections is pretty simple. Um, you can remove um, any uh, distortions, aberrations, or vignetting that happens from the image. So when you click on enable profile corrections, it will automatically detect your lens. Now I actually reset this down from 4 uh, through 5.6 to 3.5 because I thought it was more flattering. So you can see here, here's the 4 or 5 and then here is the 3 5. Once again, 4, 3 5. Um, I just found the 3.5 to be a little flatter, um, which is what I wanted because as you can see the um, the wide lens is giving it that distortion so it helps to flatten it out but as you can see um, the lens corrections isn't enough to really um, fix um, the issue I was having with this image it just wasn't a flattering angle to begin with but I really liked the, the composition and it was such a bummer because I knew that if it had been anything other than a wide angle lens this this angle would have been would have been a pretty cool composition. Um, and so I figured, what can I, I, there's nothing I can do to fix this, it's a bummer, right? But I, I came across a, a video that was talking about using transform, which I hadn't really touched until then. I hadn't even thought about it. So um, right down from lens corrections is transform. So a lot of this stuff is some um, automatic settings you can use. I'm not gonna get into those because I'm not familiar with them. But in the basic transform gradients bars, you have your vertical, horizontal, etc., etc., and those are pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, vertical is just in uh, rotation along horizontal axis. Um, uh, horizontal is along the other axis. Okay. Um, oh, I should mention that this is not the fully finished image. I I got the aspect bar to where I wanted it. I could have pulled it in a little more. I could have done my X offset to pull it in a little bit more or my Y offset or my scale to zoom in. I could have done any of those things but I decided this is where I wanted it and I would just go into Photoshop to cover up those corners a little bit which is what I did here. So, um, But uh, to show you all my edits I'm going back to this image which was done in Lightroom. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple, right? So we started from this image here. So if I if I kill all of these edits, you have an image that looks like this. By changing the vertical position, I was able to pull the chin back down, and um, and then with the aspect ratio, I was pretty happy. I didn't want to make her 
you know, any skinnier or, or anything like that, but th that is technically something that you can do if you, depending on how you feel about, uh, m manipulation of your models in post, like for example, I could have brought in her face, made it, made it a little skinnier. Um, I did that just to, just a tab, but otherwise, um, I left it pretty much the way it was. Um, and then there's stuff like scale. So for example, if when you do the vertical uh, transformation here, you can see that it's really causing the image to be distorted this way. So you can just squeeze it in with scale and um, also do things like the offsetting. So for example, if you don't want her directly in the center of the image, you could always, voila, now you have your, um, say, two-thirds you know, golden ratio or what have you. Um, but in this case, uh, yeah, she's, I just go out and do makeup and stuff with my friends and we um, venture the town and make art together and it's a really casual thing but I know that it's no fun when you're working with a lens that um, doesn't allow you to um, get the look you're going for. So I was really really grateful to discover the transform tool and so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and I like my wide angle lens, but I, no, I think I've definitely learned my lesson. And recently I just got a portrait lens. So hopefully you'll see more of my beautiful creamy bouquet in the future. And, um, we'll do some more stuff with Chelsea in the future too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing too much more to say other than, um, this image did have some, overlays and things like that to touch up some of the areas. So for example, I, I sometimes brighten up the eyes or the uh, change the color of the lids. Um, sorry, the irises, not the lids. Um, to match with the uh, look. For example, if she had really dark brown eyes, it, it was more... I don't know where we started. Let me actually look and see where we started. She has like light green eyes, but I made them a little more teal, I think. So stuff like that. Some really minor... Um, alterations that you can do because Lightroom just makes it so easy for you. Like this stuff would have taken way longer in Photoshop. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just like really happy to have Lightroom and I look forward to sharing more of these casual edits with you in the future. Um, hopefully this was helpful or interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.